Hi everyone! Um, I have a new manga haul again. Um, I have a box of manga from Crunchyroll, uh, two random packages from Amazon, and then two figures that I ordered, and I'm super excited for them. So let's do this. Um, let's start with my box, or let's do my two random, um, my two random packages first. I don't remember what these are. Oh, <laughs> this one, oh shoot, the, I ordered this one from Amazon and the cover is like bent. I guess you can't really tell, but there's like a line right here. So that's sad. Um, this was like $14, so that kind of stinks Amazon. Package your stuff without crinkling it. <laughs> um, this is called Mysterious Disappearances. And I was just looking around at manga <laughs> that it came out recently, and this looked pretty interesting. Um, I'll let you guys know. It seemed like kind of a more serious, darker type of manga. Like, I hope... Um, I'll let you guys know. It's like supernatural. I'm really sad about this cover though, but... It's really pretty. That, those eyebrows. <laughs> she has eyebrows like my dog Boba. So there we go. Alright, my other random package. Ooh! Is uh, Kaiju number 8. I meant to order this with my Crunchyroll order, but Crunchyroll number 8 was sold out on Crunchyroll, like completely. Um, I needed to order the next volume in Sweetness and Lightning, and I can't find volume 5 anywhere, like anywhere. I looked on all, all of the sites that I bought manga from, um, and I can't find that copy anywhere. So if you guys are also trying to read Sweetness and Lightning, um, I've collected up to volume 4 and read up to volume 4, but I can't find volume 5 anywhere, so hopefully they, I don't know, it, it's like, it's crazy expensive on Amazon because people are reselling it and then it's just out of stock everywhere else, but yeah. Alright, uh, Kaiju number 8, um, it's a, it's just a good action series. Um, when I first started reading Kaiju number 8, it was one of my, like, really really favorite like things that I was reading um now it's something I enjoy reading it's not it's not my favorite anymore it's not bad I still don't watch the anime so I don't know but here's volume 8 I still like it okay on to my box from my box from Crunchyroll Such a cute little package. All right, so they have it all in the box, like stacked. So I'm just gonna pull them out. Oh, the bottom ones are like stacked side by side. Wow, there's a lot of bondage. <laughs> How many did I get? Two, four, six, eight, ten. Ten volumes in here. Okay. Um, let's start with this series, Frau Faust. I got the last two volumes. I did not like the first two volumes very much, and I just finished volume three, and I thought it was really good. So, kind of a weak start to this series. Um, it's by the creator of the Ancient Magus Bride, but honestly, it, it gets quite a bit better, so I'm really glad that I didn't reading this series. Um, here's volume four. And there's only five volumes, so it's a pretty short series. It's finished. I'm gonna finish these last two. And yeah, so kind of sad that these are the last two because I really enjoyed volume three. And I'm sad that I was kind of 
just didn't like the first two volumes like a whole lot but i feel like that's changed uh, at least a bit with volume three i liked it okay um next is chojin x volume four i haven't read volume three yet i think it's my next to be read honestly um i've read volumes one and two of chojin x as of now um, this series is by the creator of Tokyo Ghoul. Um, I very much have enjoyed volumes one and two. Like, you just have to read it like, oh, my light died. Sorry guys, um, I my light died and then I realized that my air conditioner was on and it was really loud. So I'm so sorry if the audio in this video was not very good the first little bit. So sorry, it's off now. Okay, uh, sorry, back to Chojin X. Um, I think you just have to read this like you, like you maybe you didn't, haven't read Tokyo Ghoul, like don't compare it to Tokyo Ghoul. I know that's hard because I really, really love Tokyo Ghoul. I read the whole thing last summer. Um, but I really do find this series enjoyable. I know I've only read two volumes, but I like it so far. So I say you should give it a try okay um next is beauty and the feast volume five I still haven't read volume four it's right there with Jojen X um when I go to make my like manga orders I go to my like shelf and I look at the stuff that I'm going to be reading that I need like the next volume of and this one's just like towards the end of what I what I need. So, yeah. The cover is super cute. Their romance still is kind of like odd to me and <laughs> kind of awkward, but I really like the cooking. Um, the yeah, the romance aspect that I think they're gonna have makes me a little uncomfortable, but I still think that it's enjoyable. I like I like my food mangas, guys. <laughs> Um, next is Villains Are Destined to Die, Volume 6. Oh, this is so pretty. I just finished Volume 5 yesterday. Um, that's the one where she has, like, a, a court trial at the beginning. And I just really like this series. Is this series ending soon, though? I thought I heard something about it ending soon, but I don't know. Um... It's beautiful, as always. Um, all in color. This is my favorite of the like manhwas that I've that I've been reading that I've read. Um, it has my favorite art and coloring. It's all just it's gorgeous, and it's long. It's like almost 300 pages. I feel like this is worth its $20 price tag. And it's really heavy and the, the pages are like magazine quality. It's really nice. So volume six. Okay. Um, next is the summer Hikaru died volume three. I just read volume two this last week. Um, I love this series. If you like something a little bit eerie and creepy, but also like relationship kind of um it's good it is really good um it's just an interesting story yoshiki um his best friend hikaru goes missing and gets replaced by like this weird like creature so his best friend isn't really his best friend anymore but he is and he, he is and he's not like He's not him, but he looks and acts like him in certain ways, so he really struggles and it's just really interesting. And the art, let me see if I can find a good example. I don't want something too disturbing. Okay. like. It's just really beautiful. Like there's a lot of shading, a lot of detail. I think the art in this series is fantastic. Like 
just so detailed and gorgeous. Um, I really like this series. If you're not scared of something a little bit creepy, a little weird, we'll go read it because it's really good. Um, the next two are the Promised Neverland volumes 10 and 11. I bought two volumes just because I feel like I want to make more progress in this series. Um, I just read volume ten, no, 9. I read volume 9 and there was a lot of twists and like crazy information and I felt like it's going to move the story ahead a whole bunch so I was like I need the next two instead of just the next one. So I went and got both of them. Um, I love this series. I want to like finish it, but I also like stretching it out. The covers are so pretty. I feel like the covers have only gotten more beautiful. Wow, look at the, it's like the same village on the back um, of Goldie Pond. Are they still in Goldie? They must still be in Goldie Pond. Um, like sunset and like nighttime. So I'm really excited for these two volumes. I don't want to know too much, but they're called The Rematch and The End, but it seems like it's still in Goldie Pond, like, which is, I, I think, a pretty big arc. I've, I've been reading Goldie Pond for, like, at least a couple of volumes, so I love it. <laughs> okay, um, next is Toilet Bound Hanako-kun Volume 8. I just read volume 7 not very long ago. Oh, I have to show you guys my new bookcase. I told you guys last time that I needed another bookcase and I got one from Amazon and it was really expensive but it's so cute and I have toilet bound Hanako Kun in it with like one piece and other like colorful mangas. I'll see if I can insert a clip of it. I'll try to remember. It's so pretty guys. I wish all my bookcases were like that one. Like <laughs> I should like just redo all my bookcases like that. Okay guys, here is my new bookshelf. My living room is literally dark, is it's so dark. But it's over here, kind of on its own. But I, it has six shelves. And I put one piece on it, and more one piece, and then like my colorful, like different mangas. But yeah, I love this thing. I think it would look so cute with multiples like next to each other. I love it so much. Um, you guys haven't seen this. It's a like a diamond painting that I like did one summer. So yeah. But yeah, this is Toilet Bound Hanukkah Kun Volume 8. I can't believe I'm on Volume 8. Um, it's a very fast read. Uh, I like how colorful and kind of wacky and cartoony the art is, but it's also like the line art is really like thick and expressive. I just like it. I feel like it has a lot of personality, so I still am enjoying this series quite a bit. All right. Um, the last thing is Tsubaki Cho Lonely Planet Volume Six. Read volume five last week. They are such a frustrating couple. I mean, I love them very much, but they need to be together. Um, I don't know how many more volumes this is going to be, but I love this. I love you guys know I love this artist. I love this series. It's probably my favorite. By uh, this is Mika. Yeah, Mika Yamamori. Like the art. The art, guys. <laughs> I love it so much. I love reading anything by her. It's all gorgeous. Um, yeah, volume six. Okay. All right, time to move on to my two figures. Okay, so I showed you guys last time that I got this little Lloyd. So I decided to get a Yor to go with him because I have Anya and Bond and Lloyd. Like I can't have them all together out there and not have a Yor. Like that's not right. So I ordered a Yor and I also ordered a um, uh, Makisei Kurisu from Steinsgate. I love her so much. I love Steinsgate. I need a figure of her. so. Here we go. Um, I'm gonna save her for last because she is one of my favorite 
characters, so I'm just gonna, but I'm gonna do Yor. Um, I love Yor. She's kind of a psycho. I mean, she's an assassin who <laughs> is really good at murdering people, so it makes sense that she's a little bit of a psycho, but I still love her. Um, I'm trying to get this open without ruining it. Uh, this figure is from Sega. I believe it was about $20. Uh, my Lloyd, I got him from Ross and he was 15. Oh my god, there's more tea. I'm hoping she's about the same size as Lloyd. Oh, she's cute. I really love this figure figures. You guys haven't noticed. <laughs> um, here she is. Oh, she's so cute. I love it. She, you can even like see her legs. She is very, very cute. Okay, now is she gonna look cute with Lloyd? <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah! I'm so excited. They can be together now on my shelf. They're so stinking cute. Oh, I love them. Okay. All right. <laughs> Moving on. Um, let's do this. Maki say. Kurisu. Stands gate. This video was a little more expensive. It was closer to $30. Stand on the bottom to sign date. Oh, that's really cute. It's really plasticky, but really cute. love her. Oh my goodness. She's perfect. <laughs> oh my goodness. I love it. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> oh, she is so cute. Her back pose is so cool. <laughs> she is awesome. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, sorry. Like, oh God. I'm super happy with those. Okay. I, oh yeah. <laughs> okay. So, um, thanks for watching this video, guys. Um, if you guys have read anything cool lately, let me know. Um, let me know what you guys think about my bookcase because I really, really love it. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.